Hey, my love bugs. So I'm here, guys, to do a read for cancer. This is going to be for cancer. All house placements, y'all know the drill. So if the messages here are resonating, baby dolls, then you know what to do. Take them. If they don't, leave them here. Newbies, cross watchers, you are welcome here. This is read from cancer's point of view. All right, y'all. I want to thank you all for your like, shares, and subscribes. Okay, baby dolls. Let's get into the reading for you all. See what it is that you have going on. Guys, yes, I did take a little break. Sometimes I like to take a break to break up the monotony so it's not so repetitive. Pick up on some new energy. Every reading will not be for you, and I want you to remember that, all right? And Cancer, I just want to tell you that there is no change without change behavior, okay? I don't know why I'm led to tell you that, but there's no change without change behavior. All right, loves? Um, let's get into the messages for you all. Messages for my cancers. Messages for my cancers. Let's see here. What messages? Guys, I pulled out an old deck here, so I am using the Gilded Tarot. I've had this deck for years. It used to be my favorite. I wore it out, but something said, use it again, girl. So I'm using it again. Let me see what I get for y'all. We have the six of swords. All right. There's a there's there's it's a lot shroud. There's a lot of mystery. You could be in your head a lot, Cancer, because there's a lot of mystery here. Some of you have to make a move, make a way forward without really knowing what lies ahead, all right? There could be some stress and anxiety surrounding moving forward, all right? Overcoming some sort of challenges. Um, Honestly, y'all, for some of y'all, this is going to be challenges that are based on a truth that you may have discovered being, being nosy, I'm be honest. This is about eavesdropping, being nosy, doing digging and detective work. If you did that, you found what you were looking for. Now, what are you going to do, right? Listen, y'all, what did Tamar Braxton mother say that time? She said, don't go looking if you ain't going to do nothing about it, right? Some of you, now that you went looking or snooping now, or, or something's come to your attention quite possibly. Um, also, why am I getting gaslighting here? Some of y'all discovered something and somebody tried to convince you that what you discovered was not so. All right. So I want you to be aware of that as well. Like there's there, there was someone who didn't want you to believe that what you had discovered was actually what was going on, okay? If this hasn't taken place, this could take place in the next six months, all right? Um, okay, for my astrologers that may be watching, for my people who are most certainly into astrology, they can help with this because they're showing me that this could take place when there is a planet visible along with the moon, all right? So you know how sometimes if you look at NASA or something like that, they'll tell you, oh, this planet will be visible around this full moon. Like, I believe we could be coming up on a full moon and possibly there's a nearby planet being visible here, even two, but I really feel like definitely a planet being visible Um when you're making this move or you're quietly exiting something, all right? You're accepting a truth behind something, Cancer, all right? Uh, you could be having prophetic dreams as well. Some of y'all feeling like these prophetic dreams happening, and this is within the next six months, okay? Um, these prophetic dreams, you could find them to be, and especially it's highly aspected for my June Cancers. July Cancers, you could experience this as well. I'm not saying you won't. But it's going to be extremely significant for June Cancers, um, even first week of July Cancers, all right? Um, there's prophetic dreams coming through, though. Uh, and a lot of you, this is astral planning as you are visiting a world or a place or a space where... You, you remember what movie is it that they had the upside down? Oh, that is Stranger Things, my favorite show. <laughs> the upside down. So 
yeah, you could be actually astral planning to quote unquote the upside down, all right? Um, and being disturbed by the revelations that you're coming up with there. Let me say this, you may need to do some kind of work to, you know, deal with that. Some of you are sleeping on your back. If you see, if you simply would just sleep on your side, you could avoid this happening, okay? That's not all of you, but for some of you, all right? Um, also, be aware of astral planning as you could have a energy that is connecting to you as well, okay? Um, you know, you, you, you have to remember, and I guess everybody's theory is different. Everybody thinks differently. But during astral planning, you are encountering energies, entities that have never lived. They've never lived. They've never incarnated into this world. All right. So you have to be aware of that, that you're running into and meeting all different types of things. And you have to be protected. So for the, and, and, and I want to say this as well for my cancers who are taking it upon themselves to astral plan because they think it's fun. I mean, if you believe, you believe. If you don't, you don't. If you're not a believer in that, then obviously this portion of the message is not for you. But for those of you who believe, and if you know, you know. The ones who know what I'm talking about, they know. You could be encountering beings, entities that are, have not incarnated. Also, be mindful of traveling too far or too often or something like that, all right? Yeah, look at this. The Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Pentacles. You, this Take heed. The Magician. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Take heed because uh, all, all astral travel is not always safe. What's this? The Hangman. A lot of you want to know how to stop it or you've been stuck in this in this cycle of astral plane in here trying to figure out how to get out of it. Sleep on your side. Prayer. Wear your protective jewelry. Do something. For those of you who are my specialists, my gurus on this subject, feel free to leave information in the comment section, y'all. Absolutely. Uh, on how to help these people that are, I mean, yeah. Let's see here. What is the page of swords in the reverse? The three of swords. Yeah, see... There's coming, you're coming upon a period where you're moving forward, you're transitioning, you're leaving things that have hurt you and broken you behind, all right? So with doing that, I'm telling you, June 6th, June 6th, 1993, June 6th, 1999, something like that. There's a correlation here. May, might only be for one or two of you that June 6, 19. I'm sorry, June. I'm sorry, June 6. That's not even cancer. Maybe there is someone born June 6, 1993. June 6, 1999. All right. You could be leaving someone behind with that birth date. Um, oh, wait a minute. Mm. Wait. 12. Nine. For some of you, your birthday is June 31st. June 31, June 30th, June 29th. Give or take six days from that date. I don't know. Let me see here. Tell me more about the six of wands. The world is in the reverse. For some of you, you're making, you're making very slow progress. You could feel like you're making very slow progress and so you don't see yourself coming out of something, but you are, all right? There is an opportunity that will present itself as well, Cancer, come June, where there is a fresh new start. For some of you, it's in the next six days, six weeks, all right? King of Cups energy, Pisces season. A lot of you may have new opportunities. So within the next six weeks, you uh, have a new opportunity that you may feel like you need to jump on um, in order to like secure this spot. This is good though, whatever this is. 
Also, and it's something you don't see coming. It's something that people don't even know about or nobody knows about until you announce this or you show this to the world as well, Cancer. Also, there's something about the last three weeks and the next three weeks that are very significant for you. If opportunities showed up in the last three weeks or they're showing up in the next three weeks, please do jump on them if you feel like it's for you. Um, for some of you, there's new love coming possibly in the last three weeks or the next three weeks, all right? Yeah, the moon. Something's catching, Pisces season, there it is, catching you off guard. Two of Wands, there's a decision that you need to make to jump on something. Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, it is a blessing in disguise. It creates stability, it's giving you exactly what it is that you asked for. Love, life, work, family, take it as it resonates, Cancer. All right, tell me more about the Six of Wands for Cancer in the world in the reverse. Something you thought, like you thought Queen of Swords. You thought that something had ended for you, something was over, like is this it, is this a, is this the last, whatever, the last hurrah or whatever this is, baby. It's not, it's not two of pentacles here. You may be debating if a truth is actually a truth because to accept the truth may be heartbreaking about something. I feel like that's old energy. I feel like that has happened in the recent past for you, all right? You may have had to accept the truth. You look at this. The hermit and the four swords. You have to go within yourself and accept a truth. If this has not happened for you, it could happen in the next two to three weeks. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is past energy. You, you've accepted a truth that has allowed you to move on. Something you tried to convince yourself of that was a lie. They're saying something to me about the past three years. All right. Um, I don't know if some of you have a three-year-old or something like this with this person. All right. Tell me more about the Four of Swords here for Cancer. Yeah, look at this. The Six of Cups is definitely the past. <laughs> okay. A lot of you, this is past energy. And now you're waiting to move forward here with the Empress energy. There is something big coming in for you, Cancer. But you just, you know, unfortunately, it's like treading these muddy waters. Like making your way through this muddy energy. You're going to do it. You come out the other end blessed, obviously. All right. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords and the, yeah, look at this. The Queen of Cups wants to come out in the reverse. You're not thrown off yet. You might feel like you're off your game. You might feel like you're not being yourself. Not yet. Not yet. You can still catch yourself. I'm hearing that song, falling for you, and I just can't help myself. And baby, I'm falling. Yeah, that, who's that? Uh, Montel Jordan, ain't it? <laughs> Right, right. You ain't fell off the you ain't fell off and hit your head just yet. You're not so far gone over a person, place, situation, or thing that you can't release it and let it go. All right. You are not stuck. You're stuck because you're choosing to be baby, not because you actually are. Wherever that resonates in your life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because you feel it in your heart. You feel it in your chest. You're not stuck because you're stuck, boo. You stuck because you're choosing to be, because you're choosing to take the easier route out and even possibly because it's easier to stay in a situation than it is to accept the truth of the matter and leave. Okay, dolls? Let me see. Tell me more about the queen. And yes, men, I'm talking to you too when I say that. <laughs> Y'all my baby dolls too. They got Ken dolls. The Nine of Wands and the hair fit. You are so torn about doing the right thing. And you know. You know what happens to us when we choose to, to drag our feet and waste our time and, and not make the right decisions for ourselves. God and the divine will make them for you. And you don't even want it. Okay, so so this is this is how I'm gonna put it for you. You remember when you was a kid, and all of you may not have experienced this when you was a child. And you got your butt in trouble and you had to go pick that switch off that tree. They say, go out there and go pick you a switch. You made the wrong decision. You did the wrong thing. Go out there and pick you a switch. If you don't go out there and pick, and if you don't come back with a good switch, I'm going to go out there and pick it for you. And you don't want me to pick it, right? If you know, you know. If you remember, Clancy, you remember. They say, I'm going to pick the switch. You're in a position where you can lighten the blow of the letdown or you can stay because it's easier to stay until something implodes. 
And yes, I said implode, not explodes. Implodes. Because you will get to a point where you will no longer be able to take it and you're going to lose your shit. It's not going to be good for you or anybody involved, Cancer. Let's be for real. That Queen of Cups in the reverse? Listen, Cancers are loving, nurturing, caring, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, and boo-boo, and oh, mommy, daddy energy, and all that shit. But when a Cancer gets upset, you have unleashed the motherfucking beast. You have unleashed the beast and Cancer. You can avoid you can avoid unleashing the beast. That is the name of y'all reading. Because let me tell you something I know about you. Because I'm a fellow Cancerian that other folks may not know about you. You got them mixed up and confused, baby, because you don't let situations and things get off. You let it get out of control. You don't let it get out of control. And because we don't give up until we have to give up, y'all, some of you, not all of you, because some of you recognize that you're dangerous. Others of you have not. Now, I'm telling you, if you feel like you're one of those cancers, go seek the professional help that you need. All right? Do not get yourself in trouble. But I would pray to God that you ain't letting one lousy motherfucker and if you don't like cuss words, then plug your ears for the next two minutes. <laughs> I would pray that you're not letting one lousy motherfucker, one lousy ass situation, one lousy ass job push you to the point of getting yourself in trouble. Push you to the point of losing control of yourself. Baby, you have all the control. And if you're stuck in a dark moment right now, Cancer, if you are stuck in a place right now where you don't know what to do and you don't know how you're going to make it through, then I'm sending you my love and my prayers right now, asking God and the divine to help see you through it. But don't give up. Don't you dare give up. It gets hard and it gets muddy. But if you can just see your way through it, baby, I promise you there is light at the end of that tunnel. That it, see, the enemy designed it so that you would believe that there was no light at the end of the tunnel. Because they want you to take the, the easy way out and continue to suffer. They want you to take the easy way out and do something that will land your ass in trouble. Or land you in a position where you're no longer here. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't do it. There's a better way. Seek the help of your ancestors, your angel guides. God, source, your divine source, seek the help and assistance of them. But don't give up. There is no quitting for cancer. You don't get to quit. You got a point to prove. You came down here to learn a lesson. You came down here to prove a point. And that's what we're going to do, right? Let's see her. Yeah, look at this. You have the page of wands and the nine of wands. You're to the point where you're starting to, you could be to the point where you're ready to give up. You tired, you tired. But you right there. You've done all the investing and all the time that you've invested in the manners and what you learned the lessons. You've done all this fucking footwork. There is no point in you giving up now. Not at all. Don't you dare give up. Do you hear me? Let's see her. The Ace of Swords. The truth is, you know there's greater on the other side. There's greater on the other side. Don't lose your shit. Do the right thing. You're being urged to do the right thing. You have the hair fan here with the ace of wands and you know what the right thing is. It may be difficult to do the right thing. It may be tedious to do the right thing. It may wear you out and stretch you thin to do the right thing. But if you do the right thing, you're going to get the outcome that you desire. If you choose otherwise, you will not. 
All right. Tell me more about the star of cancer. The queen of pentacles. The four of cups and the chariot. Be mindful of peacocking as energy cancer. All right. Because that's not you. All right. So be mindful of peacocking. All right. Don't get, don't get, be boastful. Don't brag. Don't be boastful. Be confident. Remember, there's a thin line between confidence and being boastful. The opportunity will present itself for you to be boastful. <laughs> Don't do it. The opportunity is going to present itself for you to tell somebody, somebody who, who made you feel bad and sorry for your situation. The opportunity is presenting itself for you to do the same to someone else. Don't you do it. Ten of Cups. The Ten of Wands and the Sun. If you take the opportunity to boast or to, to seek revenge, it will be to your own demise. Remember that. That can be love, life, work, family. Take that as it resonates. Take all these messages as they resonate. Answer. Yeah, all right. Let me see here. What else do I want to see? Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. One of these cards are ripped. That's how old this is. I mean, sorry, the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Baby, if you just... <laughs> Cancer, if you follow the blueprint, you are destined to win. The Eight of Swords. Keep your eye on the prize at all times. Don't do anything that is going to make your integrity questionable. Don't do anything that is going to have people look at you sideways. Yeah, the Five of Swords. To the ten of fucking swords. Avoid arguments. Avoid avoid being nasty. Avoid being nasty. Yeah, the three of cups. Avoid being nasty. The high priestess and the five of pentacles. You'll have the opportunity to don't. Loves, this is where I'm actually going to leave this off at. I hope the messages here were... Um, were helpful, guys. I think overall, as you're moving forward, there's a need to be mindful of karma. It's a revolving door. Be mindful of karma. What goes out the door comes back in it, all right? Boo-boos, if you wish to book shop, all that information is in the description box below. And until next time, my baby dolls, bye-bye.